Hey everybody, and welcome to my first episode of Road to 138. Um, the point of this series is basically that I've always felt that 138 combat is a giant milestone, and it's something that should be looked up to to be max combat. And with the combat update, they're kind of changing that in the sense that the new combat max is going to be 200, but you don't have to have pretty much max stats to have it. You just need 99 mage and 99 defense and you're 200, or range or attack, whatever. So it's a little bit different now, and I'm not really a fan of that. I think that the combat update is what RuneScape needs, really, but I'm not a fan of the um, combat level change. So basically what I'm doing is I'm making a series and I'm going to be posting probably every four days a new video. It might get more frequent depending on how successful I am with this, but I'm thinking about every four days or so I'm going to post a video and it's going to be about my road to 138 combat, getting max combat. And it's just it means something to me and I really want to work towards it before they change that in the real game as we know the beta comes out tomorrow and I do not want to get killed by that dragon anyway um so basically right now where I'm at is I just got 97 strength a little while ago and that got me 132 combat so I'm slaying, as you can see, this is my task, Water Fiends, and I'm trying to train strength, but right now I'm training strength and defense. Of course, attack too, but that's 99 now. So I'm focusing on strength, I'm 2.3 mil to 99 on that, and then defense I set my goal at 95. I'm going to go for 99, but I'm 2.8 mil off of 95. And so, what I want to do is get max melee and 80 slayer, 80 plus slayer is going to come with that, maybe even 85, I'm not sure how far it's going to go. And then from there, I'm going to decide whether or not it's going to be worth my time to get a rapier from Dunge. I have a CLS right now, but I don't know if it's worth putting that extra time in, because I am have like 1k tokens right now, so I basically need to do the whole thing. I don't know if it's worth putting that time in or not, so if you guys, if you know, could you leave that in the comments down below, telling me whether or not I should do it or shouldn't, and then a reason why. So, basically, I'm just slaying for charms, and going for 96 summoning. And right now, I'm about 2 point... yeah, 2.4k, 2.3k of having enough charms to get... 83, I mean 88 summoning, and that's all for Crimson Charms, and I still have some left over. So what I was wondering is, do you guys have any of you bursted lobs, and know if that's good, like money-wise, if it's not too expensive? I know it's going to be pricey, but um, yeah, I just realized I wasn't praying at all this task so far. Anyway, is it worth doing that, or is it not really worth it and then just let me know because I've never tried it before so I'd like to I'd at least spend like maybe three mil try it out make a quick little guide on it or something and then from there I would decide whether or not I want to actually do that to try and get some charms for a yak because once I get a yak I'm pretty much set 96 summoning and then I need just to finish off prayer 95 to 99 and max melee, that's not too hard. The only hard part about this series is going to be the summoning and then the money required for training the summoning and the prayer. So that's pretty much it for this video, it was just a welcome to this series type of thing. And if you guys have any more questions or anything at all, just leave it in the comments, send me a message on YouTube. My private's usually on right now, it's on friends because it's getting spammed by the uh, gold selling bots. But yeah, pretty much subscribe, leave a comment. If you like the idea of this series, let me know.